So I don't know if you guys have heard of Alki David, but he's the heir to like 28 uh, Coca-Cola distribution bottling companies. And he's supposed to be worth like crazy money, like a billion dollars. He's also like the subject of um, a sexual harassment, sexual assault lawsuit. I guess he's a bit of a like troublemaker, probably from being so rich. Um, because I, I mean, he just has so much money. Anyway, the reason that I've been interested in him recently is because he went into court and read this statement to a judge and called out Tom Girardi in the statement. And I was like, oh my goodness. And he said that she was part of the corruption, the judge that was listening to his case, um, and compared her, I guess, to Tom Girardi. So... I wanted to play it for you guys. I couldn't resist. So, I'm sitting here with this esteemed retired judge who's supposed to be mediating this man who is missing. I'm here with my counsel, my mother, and my wife who's That's him talking. taking the dog somewhere. So, esteemed judge, um, knowing that all of these judges in this city are corrupted, deeply corrupted by Tom Girardi, you are willing to let me sit here and be trafficked once again by a man who had somebody break into my house with a mask and near cause a, a, a major incident in my home. And you're sitting here after me having told you that there is an FBI investigation happening and you're allowing this man to continue or in your mind, you're allowing this man to continue. Is that correct? Is that correct, Judge? I think we're done. No, is that correct, Judge? I, think we're done. I don't think we're done. Is that correct, Judge? You, after what I told you... Okay, I'm back. I'm going to play the rest of the video for you. I think we're done. I don't think we're done. Is that correct, Judge? You, after what I told you, your thought was to just carry on with the debtor's examination. After I told you that there was an FBI investigation, after I told you that I had been trafficked, after I showed you my anger, after you must have heard ad nauseum through your esteemed colleague here who's representing me, my story... But still, you want to maintain the trafficking because that is all you know. Is that correct, Judge? Trafficking. The trafficking. My being trafficked from, es from esteemed colleague to esteemed colleague of bullshit and lies and manipulation at the hands of people like Tom Girardi and many others. So, Judge, you want to tell me that you wish to continue with this. Is that correct? Okay, so nothing. Okay, we're done. <laughs> so in this video, he's recording in like a boardroom. There is like a judge behind a glass wall and he's got his camera out and you don't see his face and he shows his family and there's an empty chair and he keeps like pointing the camera to the empty chair. And I guess he was supposed to be cross-examined by a girl named Chast Chastity Jones, her attorney. Now... He was supposed to be, I guess, cross-examined by this attorney, and the attorney wasn't there. And the attorney had awarded Chastity $11.1 million, which was then reduced to $8.4 million because David said that he was not a billionaire and he didn't know where those that like even was coming from, and he didn't have that kind of money. Um, and he was sued by this chastity girl uh, for sexual harassment and sexual battery. And so this was, this was to, to de determine like the assets that he had for her to tap to get this money. And that's when he goes on this rant and he talks about the corruption with the judges and Tom Girardi. And of course, the judge is like, because he's using the word trafficking, he's so confused. The judge is looking at him like behind, he's a mask on. But he's like lost. And so a lot of people think that David is having like signs of mental illness in the way that he's communicating with judges and stuff. Like he's not making total sense. Um, Dana Cole is his attorney and she went on the record and said that she was losing control of David and that he, she felt that there had been an automobile accident that might have caused mental illness for David. And she was quoted as saying, unfortunately, over the last couple of months, I've seen a downward spiral in Mr. David, akin to a mental health crisis. 
It certainly is possible that he has frontal lobe issues that control his impulsivity. Um, and so she's talking about this accident that he had. Um, cause this guy is like a big Greek heir and he's had numerous wives and divorces. He's a very charismatic guy. He's, he's good looking. Um, but he's been getting into loads of trouble and obviously this behavior is making it even like seem like there's something going on. Well, All the only was present, so I'm not sure exactly like they must disagree. Maybe they believe in the corruption that he's talking about. Obviously the California Bar Association did find that Tom Girardi had corrupted the plaintiff bar in California and had there was definitely like not a lot of judges coming for him. There was some conflict of interest happening with the judges because he was putting them on the bench. Tom Girardi was. So he's not wrong. Um, I don't know where the trafficking thing comes from, but he's not wrong about that. Um, anyway, the judge ordered David to appear in person at a hearing next week. And if he doesn't show up, he's going to be held in contempt. I'm really watching this because I think it's wild. It's wild. So now there was a, uh, the judge, a different judge, not the one sitting in the room with him, but a different judge that's on this case with this girl and the sexual assault and all that said, I don't know what I can really do about this David guy, but she said maybe a conservative, a conservatorship might be an avenue to pursue. And she said, I can't opine on that. It certainly would be a way of getting a handle on his behavior and advance the proceedings. So, I mean... I was like kind of shocked that a judge in a totally unrelated proceeding could suggest a conservatorship. Right? Um, pretty shocking. Uh, anyway, he did write a letter to this judge too, which I'll read you, which also mentions Tom so Girardi. He wrote a letter, and this is different than what you heard. And he said, accusation, Judge Yolanda Orozok, is one of several Tom Girardi judges being investigated by the FBI. Dear Judge, I understand that you worked for Jones Day, the Los Angeles law firm, at the time that it was embroiled in the Chief Roy Baca scandal and Tom Girardi scandal. And as you know, the Los Angeles Superior Court and Jones Day, amongst others, have been under investigation by the FBI for bribery and corruption of the state bar and for, for what has been termed as the Girardi judges. As a complex transaction specialist for Jones Day, which you worked for five years until you became a Superior Court judge, you should have recused yourself a long time ago rather than continue to traffic me through the court system. You, your ludicrous attempt, oh, that's what he meant by traffic. The letter continues. Another obscene example of these judges is when lone practitioner Michelle Court went to Gloria Allred for legal advice as she claimed her husband was beating her. Tom Girardi recruited Michelle Court to their network of corrupted judges and lawyers. Quote, you couldn't become a presiding judge in L.A. Superior Court without being a Girardi judge, continued John Doe. Girardi judges included... Chief Justice George and the current sitting Chief Justice, Justice Tammy Cantil Soikoy. Chief Justice Kaczynski was removed from the judiciary allegedly for watching child porn on his com court computer. Like that makes sense. No, he was booted off the judiciary for being a Girardi judge. Other Girardi judges include Chief Justice Tammy Cantil Soikoy, Chief Justice George. All this is evidenced by esteemed San Francisco lawyer, Philip K., who, who was, was killed. killed shortly after filing these records in the Washington, D.C. FISA. Hard to believe, but true. In Michelle Court's courtroom, in the case of Mahim Khan versus Alki David, that's him, neither I nor my lawyers who were, represented, who were representing me were allowed to defend a defense at all. Their long line of witnesses that were never called, like John Robertson, Gary Shufield, Peter Van Prusen, were their witnesses who, in fact, were never called to the trial. I'm reading this as he wrote the letter. They were never hostile towards me, on the contrary, but the court allowed it to happen. The court denied me or my lawyers any defense despite our protestations. 
Nathan Goldberg went on a press conference where he claimed that I elected to not put up a defense and forfeited my right and $54 million. Additionally, one witness. Okay, so if you're enjoying this video as it's going, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I never do this in the middle of the video, but I thought this time I might try it. Additionally, one witness and her infant daughter were threatened by the plaintiff, Mahim Khan, during the trial. My attorney, Ellen Garofalo's signature was falsified. This has been proven in ad nauseum with a 70 page document showing how Ms. Garofalo's electronic signature was faked. This document was of course ignored by Judge Michelle's court. I have repeatedly tried to communicate with you. I have written a letter to you which you ignored. You have abused the system of honor and ethics that you are meant to uphold. I'm advising you that the FBI has officially begun an investigation of the trafficking crimes that I and many other vic victims have experienced at the Stanley Moss Courthouse in downtown LA. Sincerely, Alka Viedes, I can't say his name properly, Alki David, that's like how everyone calls him Alki. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> now, this would be something that would be normally very hard for me to believe, right? But based on the fact that we know the corruption allegations have been proven by the Los Angeles Times, and there is indeed an investigation being done with the California Bar Association um, to one level or another, I don't know. I'm sure the FBI is looking into all things Tom Girardi at this point based on the massive scale of this Ponzi scheme. And, you know, who, you know, it's just, you know, if it goes to the judge level, although I don't know that, he seems to know that it is, then I would imagine they are investigating judges that Tom Girardi may have uh, used his ability to manipulate because, of course, bribery is against the law in any capacity, especially with a judge or court official or, you know, politician, anyone, really. You're not allowed to bribe people. Um, now, David's family is a huge Greek shipping family, as well as, you know, having this interest in Coca-Cola bottling and distribution facilities, which has made them very, very rich. He went to Trinity College. He went, he was born in Nigeria. Um, and he did go work for the family business. Then he started a modeling agency and, you know, I'm sure was in with, you know, probably a hipster crowd in LA, um, although I never met him in particular. Um, he seems to have a lot of litigation. Um, I'll read you some of the litigation. Um, they, uh, CBS, ABC, NBC, and Fox, and their studios won a temporary restraining order against David's film on in November 2010 to prevent unlicensed use of their broadcast signals. The woman who I mentioned earlier, the reason that she sued David is she was working for him and he was groping her and trying to make her have sex with him. And I guess she got fired and it blames these sexual advances that she turned down as to why she got fired. And that's where this $8 million punitive damages and $3 million compensation damages comes from a total of $11 million. Um, and he was also uh, arrested in Nevis for possession of over $1.3 million uh, worth or the, yeah, of cannabis that he had on his private jet. He's a real character. Um, he uh, has been involved with movies. He's anyway, been David's been married three times, divorced twice, and has two kids. So he's a character. Um, what do you think of this? What do you think of this happening? You know, this huge air using the Tom Girardi corruption against the judges that are hearing his case and some of the allegations he's making. I'm really interested in your opinion on it. I was kind of blown away that this didn't get more coverage because he is a big, you know, industry kind of guy in L.A. He is you know, a notable. So at the fact that all this crazy stuff was happening in the court system with him and tying it to Girardi and all this, I was like really surprised it didn't get more coverage. Anyway, I thought I would share this video with you and um, yeah, get what 
your thoughts on it. <laughs> okay, if you like my video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And I hope you have a, a great day.